but we're here not to spend our money, but to tell the BBC that their reporting of the Labour Party and anti-Semitism has been skewed and deformed and corrupt. They take a story, they don't look at any evidence, they accept assertion as truth, they never question the people putting the story and they never ask for a contrary voice. This is not journalism, this is definitely not public service journalism, it is a craven acceptance of, the, of bowing to a Conservative government because they think that will protect their licence fee, that will protect their jobs. But you don't do deals with the devil because they turn on you. And if you start giving ground to people who have no respect for truth or justice or proper procedures, they will bite you, they will swallow you up. So we are telling the BBC this, not just for our good, but for their good. The way to defend the BBC is to be honest and truthful and brave. And then you will get the public on your side and we will defend you when they come for you. But if you turn on us, if you stamp on us, then you lose your most valuable friends. They put the chief rabbi on, they don't question him, they accept his assertion, he's speaking on behalf of all Jews in this country, but I can tell you something, he is not speaking on my behalf, he's not speaking on behalf of my Jewish comrades here, and he's not speaking on behalf of the thousands and thousands of Jews up and down Britain who say that opposing Israeli war crimes is not anti-Semitism. It is standing up for human rights, it is standing up for dignity, and it is standing up for the best of Jewish tradition. Yeah. What did I learn as a Jew when I was young? That you, in the words that are on our banner, although I hadn't heard them in those days, is that if we see people who are being oppressed, we stand with them, we do not stand with the oppressors. Yeah. Right. Right.